Now um, we are um, sitting with these wild ducks. They haven't moved. They, they dotted around here at the moment, but it's almost impossible to see them. And there's one. You might just see a bit of movement through the long grass just off to the side there. Uh, lower down, lower down, Craig. There we go. There. That's an ear. <laughs> Uh, so, we have an ear of a wild dog, everyone. And, um, like I said, the um, the others are dotted around here. And it's not easy to see. It's obviously, obviously very well camouflaged. you can see just as we thought from this morning I mentioned they'd probably stay in the area and stay in the shade as it starts warming up and that's exactly what they've done but as it starts cooling down chances are these wild dogs will probably get up and start moving um, but there's never a guarantee but I do think so judging by wild dog behavior in general that's what they do they hunt in the mornings they hunt in the afternoons um, I just saw, oh look there's, there's some just behind the log, just off, are you on it, there we go, oh, there's one moving through the back there, Pisces, Bobby, you say wild dogs have such beautiful coats. They do indeed. They, they do. That's why they, they are referred to as African painted dogs. Because of these beautiful coats, black, white and brown. I don't just lay down now. So they, they often stand up, they move around, they lie down again. Typical wild dog behavior. So, saw that one off to that side. There are a few in the grass just through the back there. I saw some movement of ears. I don't know if we'll be able to see it. Their heads down, they're invisible. But just in that little clump of grass, there are a few there. And then, and then there's some behind the log, and there's that one off there. So there are a few, there are a few around here. Ah, Wendy, you asked if there've ever been wild dog attacks on humans. Now, Wendy, I've never heard of an incident of wild dogs attacking people. Um, I'm just trying to think now, and I've I've been in situation with wild dogs running past me and not too phased by me being on foot at all. They do have a look at you, make no mistake, and they are curious, but generally they just come have a look, sniff, and then carry on. And they know that we're not a, um, or we not pray for them. And I think as long as you don't threaten them, run towards them or anything, then they generally just steer clear, basically. There we go, that's a nice view of that hound. <laughs> now, so Wendy, I've never heard of an incident of people and wild dogs, but again, always be careful. They are wild animals. I would not get out and try to, to pet them. <laughs> well, let's head across to Taylor. It sounds like her afternoon's been fairly quiet so far, but she had a lot of luck yesterday. I'm sure she'll find something more for us. But in the meantime, she's looking for Franklin.